As a refresher, my coding interview study plan, I track all my questions on a table I created on Notion. There's nothing quite like getting rejected to more than half the job applications you apply for in the span of a couple days. Recently, I've just been grinding, sending out job applications. My process usually includes going through job boards on GitHub and also Discord servers. And I'll apply for jobs and batches like every few days or a week or so. I'll just sit down for a few hours to send out all my applications in one go and catch up to the most recent job application. I tend to cold apply, but I'll do referrals when I can. I'm in my last year of university, so naturally I've already had a couple of years to meet people and build my network. Getting a referral for a smaller to mid-sized company can make all the difference in terms of getting the first interview step, so I would actually recommend doing this if you can. I think I used to feel super discouraged about whether I would get an interview or not, but I feel like for this cycle, I don't feel as discouraged or pessimistic about that. Instead of feeling scared, I won't get lucky to get an interview. I think the most important thing is to just be prepared and to fixate on the things I have control over, which is how much I prepare instead of things I don't have control over, which is whether I get contacted by the recruiter at a job interview. Getting good opportunities is a combination of when luck meets preparation. Good morning. I am currently getting ready for the day and putting on a bit of makeup and excuse my voice uh it is a little coffee scratchy right now because i am healing from being ill one of my favorite ways to start my day recently has been starting with a shot of magic mind magic mind is a mental performance shot as some of you guys may know, I've been going through a lot of recent life changes with starting school again after taking some time off. So just having a lot of anxious thoughts and stress and worries. So Magic Mind has done a really good job at helping me stay more grounded and focused and present. I want to thank Magic Mind for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys are interested in getting your very own Magic Mind, Click the link in my description box below and use the code RENALY20 for 48% off your first subscription. So it's almost 5 p.m. I am home right now. I am in my comfy clothes. I am also so hungry. So let's make some food. Spring next. It's pre-washed, by the way. Cherry tomatoes. Chicken, this is also pre-cooked, so I can just dump it in there. And the final thing is feta. Well, actually we didn't do dressing yet, but the final topping is feta. For my finishing touches, I have balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Alright, so I've decided for the next couple hours I am not moving, I'm staying right here and I'm just going to dedicate this time to preparing for technical interviews that I may have in the future. The software engineering interview process usually starts with an online assessment, could be auto-generated or could be after a resume screen. Then 
It'll typically be a recruiter phone call and then it'll be a mix of technical and some behavioral interviews before they proceed with the offer. One thing that you can always expect from early career slash new grad software engineering roles is live coding rounds. I also think that studying for the live coding rounds take up the most time. And I think that the best way to study and prepare is actually to hands-on solve practice problems with leak code. So let's solve some leak code. As a refresher, my coding interview study plan is to go through a study set of questions. I am going through Neat Code 150, but there's also Blind 75. They're already grouped topic by topic, which is really helpful. And I track all my questions on a table I created on Notion. I write notes on how to solve it, what I found challenging, how much time it took me, the time and space complexities, and so on. I also find using an iPad to draw out what I'm thinking helps me formulate my solution. I go through my table on Notion, I repeat questions that I previously found challenging or took me a long time and I might repeat it several times and I try to do a couple of leak code questions a day. The goal here is to be able to solve really any medium question in about 25 minutes. Guys, I'm currently at the rec center and I'm squeezing in a bit of time to do more job applications and just job search stuff. It's quite peaceful. It's like 9.30 p.m. on a Thursday. Rejection is hard, but I also believe that rejection helps you develop character. And there's nothing quite like getting rejected to more than half the job applications you apply for in the span of a couple days. At this point, I expect it. You just gotta keep going and focus on being consistent in your preparations because eventually your patience will be rewarded.